Good evening, my brothers and sisters. Tonight on a very special episode of The Smoking Gun, I will be interviewing Johnny Knickerbocker, the lawyer for the charity artist known as The Taster. We will be discussing the legal ramifications of the shocking revelation that the SoundCloud media platform has been manipulating Tanster's viewership statistics. Now, Mr. Knickerbocker, what is your legal opinion of the screen capture posted by Tanster showing one recent upload of hers had nine hearts and three shares, but only one view? Oh, it is rock solid proof that SoundCloud has been engaged in deceptive business practices. Tanster has been saved for months, and her numbers on SoundCloud make no sense. Now she has posted proof of it. Only SoundCloud has control of the program that tracks and reports viewer statistics of its users, and therefore they have 100% of the responsibility for it. The numbers they are reporting to Tanster are impossible. That means they are lying to her. Does this expose SoundCloud to any legal liability? Absolutely. SoundCloud is engaged in the intentional infliction of emotional distress. They are sabotaging her numbers either to demoralize her or to extort more money from her. Extortion? How so? Simple. Just like organized crime will send some goons to terrorize a shop owner and to buy protection from their own criminal outfit. SoundCloud comes onto Tasha's page, smashes her numbers, and facilitates all of these spam ads for fake numbers and comments claiming they will make her go viral. They are strong-arming her into selling out her integrity by telling her to buy fake numbers. There you have it, my brothers and sisters. Stay tuned as this story unfolds.